Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new video for you guys. Today I want to talk about my 16 month postpartum experience. My son just turned 16 months on the 27th, so I thought that this would be a good video to make because everybody's experience is different and I would like to share mine. Maybe there is someone out there watching that can totally relate maybe you don't have kids and you don't know what it's like to go through a postpartum experience and I can let you in on mine so if you're interested and you want to know about my 16 month postpartum experience then just keep on watching so my 16 month postpartum experience is quite unique I haven't met anybody who has gone through what I've been going through I guess I could say um <clears throat> I've been very emotional I think a lot about things sometimes I'm thinking way too much um I get frustrated easily I lose my patience quickly I try not to do any of these things but at the same time, I can't help it. Um, after having my son, well, I guess I should say that after having my son, I stayed in the hospital for, I think, two nights. And I left the hospital on birth control. You know, they say, you know, don't try anything after having a baby. You're super fertile. Like, if you don't want to have a kid right away, do not have sex. And obviously I knew after having a vaginal birth, I would not be having sex right away. So I was like, well, you know what? I just, I want to go the safe route, stay protected. I left the hospital on depot. And I, you know, I'm over here thinking, oh, you know, this is like the best decision I can make, you know, be smart, you know, don't get yourself into anything that you don't want to get into right now. So I left the hospital on depot and I was like, cool, I'm good. You know, I don't have to worry about it for another three months. So then everything was fine. And I would say maybe the past three or four months, I think. Sorry, my boy's here with me today. I think in the last three to four months is where i've sorry the room is a mess right now because he's just playing with everything say hi say hi <laughs> i'll bring the video down so the past three to four months i feel like is when it everything has really like picked up on me and i've really started to like pay attention to how i've been feeling and um you know kind of just making notes on how the birth control is making me feel maybe it's not going to affect me this the way that it did before my son um so i've just been paying attention you know to what i'm supposed to be paying attention to because when you go to the doctor and like you go for your next no 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 you go for your next checkup they they ask you you know, how are you feeling? You know, any kind of symptoms? They want to know if you have like symptoms of depression, this, that, and the other. No, no, no. So I've finally decided to change my birth control. And I'm going to be getting the copper IUD. So no, baby. No. You cannot have. <laughs> no. Oh, he's such a mama's boy. Huh? Yeah. I'm going to be getting the copper IUD. It is a hormone-free birth control. And I think that that's pretty much my issue, really, is the hormones on top of my hormones and the way they already are. I am still nursing. 16 months later, I'm still nursing. So I don't know if that is playing a role in it. <laughs> Um, I'm sure just being a mom, you know, is part of my frustration and me being emotional and, 
you know there's all these things that could be reasons why but I really feel like the depo shot just isn't doing it for me anymore and it could be making things worse you know and when when you're not feeling your best it really affects your family you know like I can come home and my boyfriend just knows like I'm off something isn't right you know he wants to talk to me and it's like I don't know how to explain how I'm feeling to him it you know he he's a guy it's got to be hard to understand or hard to relate you know so it's just it's kind of been a roller coaster for me and it's not anybody's fault and it is what it is but now I want to see if there's something that I can possibly change something bless you baby something that I can do to change the way that I am feeling you know um you have to my personal opinion you have to be on your a game as a mother you know you cannot let certain things affect you um outside negativity you know if you're if you you know if you just have something in your body that shouldn't be there which technically birth control shouldn't be there um i feel like if there is an alternative for you you should take it especially if birth control is what you want and at this at this point in my life i do feel like birth control is what we need as a family and um i'm going to try this hormone free birth control um, I'm a little nervous to get it because, you know, it does attach to your uterus. Um, I think that's the only thing that really just makes me a little nervous. But other than that, I'm excited to see, like, if there's any difference that I, that is going to happen with my emotions, you know, my mental clarity, uh, me getting frustrated easily. You know, I'm, I, I don't like losing my patience with my son. I shouldn't. He's only 16 months. He's he's a child, you know, and they don't think like we do. And I don't like when I get overwhelmed because he's, quote, too much right now. You know, I I don't want that. And I definitely don't want the way that I'm feeling to affect my relationship with my boyfriend you know um I could get deeper into this topic but I don't know how deep to get I mean this is only my third video but I'm just gonna say that as a mother when you're not when you're not what you should be it affects your family you know, and it, start, it starts affecting your relationship with your husband, your fiance, your boyfriend. And luckily, my boyfriend, the father of my child, is so supportive. And he is like, you know, babe, like, I completely understand, you know, we got to do what we got to do to help you feel better. He's like so patient with me. And he he knows that this isn't me because it's not if this was me he probably wouldn't be with me you know so being that this isn't me and he understands that he has been very very patient and I think that he's even looking forward to the birth control switch and as well am I I'm like so over this depot I wish I could not be on birth control, you know, and just like let my body regulate itself and, you know, I just stick with the hormones I got and all that, but I, I want to be on the safe side and I don't want no, you know, nothing that we're not ready for right now to happen. So, you know, just, just part of being responsible and uh, growing up, honestly, like growing up, there's a lot of crap that happens in our lives and it's going to be up to you whether you're going to let that bring you down or you're going to persevere. You know, I can't let what I'm going through bring me down. One, I have a life to live. Two, I have a son. Three, I have a family. You know, you can't just let things happening to you that are negative you cannot let those bring you down you have to stay strong you have to keep on going you have to find other ways to cope um so i'm whew, he almost fell you're okay you're okay 
So, you know, you just have to find, you have to find something that is going to make you want to push through. And I have my family, I have my son, I have my life, and I don't want, if it mainly is the birth control, I am not going to let the birth control take control of what is happening in my life, you know? Um, I have this precious little boy. <laughs> yeah. I have this precious little boy every day that I get to see and he makes me so 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 happy and how can how can you lose your patience with this face? How? You know? He just he's the best little thing ever and I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the depot to like fully be out of my system and um then I'm just dealing with the copper IUD which is called Paragard I don't know if I mentioned that earlier um it is called Paragard and I said it was hormone free it's an IUD there's not major side effects to it um one of the side effects is like like a heavy period or like heavier cramps which I can deal with that I can deal with that. The mood swings is what I don't want to deal with. <laughs> Nobody wants to deal with that as a mother. It is, it's just more on top of your plate, you know, that doesn't need to be there. So my, my overall postpartum experience has been great, but just lately I've noticed some changes that I want to make a change to. So, um, my 16 month postpartum experience is basically like me being emotional. Oh, I'm super forgetful, super forgetful. And I don't know why, because that's not me, but like, I will forget just the littlest things. And I'm like, what the heck, you know, maybe this is being a mom, being a mom. You have so many things on your mind, so many things you have to do. You can be forgetful. Um, but that's been like, that's pretty much what my experience has been. I I get stressed easily. I get overwhelmed. My moods kind of just like toss back and forth. Um, on top of like day-to-day -day things, you know, and just life. But it's made such a difference in how I am and how I react towards things that I'm like, you know what? This isn't me. This wasn't me before my son. And I can't just let myself become this person, you know. And it's not healthy. So, I am hoping that me just sharing this small insight of my postpartum experience at 16 months can maybe help somebody else, help another mother, um... I know everybody's experience is so different, but this is what mine has been, you know, no, um, no medical changes, nothing crazy. It's just what I just explained to you guys. So I am looking forward to my appointment, which I have in like about a week. And, um, I can't wait to see if there's any changes, huh? He loves playing with my hair. Huh. Yeah. You want me to hold you? Oh, he's just my little boy. Huh. Give mom a kiss. Give mom a kiss. Besos? <laughs> Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh. His kisses are the best. And honestly, even in the moments where like I'm super overwhelmed, he gives me a kiss and I'm just like oh. Gosh, I just love you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just my baby boy. I care too much about my family to let any kind of, you know, stress get in the way <laughs> and whatnot. So, if you guys have experienced the same thing or know anybody that has, let me know down below in the comments because. If they have like a YouTube channel and maybe they've made a video, I would love to watch it. I 
like in my first video I mentioned how I don't have too many friends that are mothers so if there's somebody that you know of who is going through what I'm going through let me know I would love to uh, check them out or what are you doing he's so weird going crazy he uh, loves being uh, outside and he's looking out the window right now But yeah, you know, I know that I, what? you know, I know that I'm not the only one in the world that is going through this. I know there's other women. I just don't know them. So I will keep you guys updated on the birth control switch. Maybe I might vlog that day. That would be kind of cool. Uh, that would be kind of cool to vlog and share that with you guys because I am honestly so looking forward to it. Like, I am so ready for this change and I'm, I'm really hoping that it's going to help me. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any comments, let me know down below and I will be happy to answer them. Share anything that I know that I can pass on to you guys. I would love to do. Um... Thank you to the people who have recently subscribed to my channel. Like, this is awesome how, you know, people just come across your videos, they watch you, and it's it's exciting to get more viewers and share my experiences and stories with everybody, even if I don't know you. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope that maybe some of you can now relate to me. You know, you don't have to feel alone. We shouldn't feel alone, you know. Hopefully, you know, you have family support and and friends. And now there's me here on YouTube. So don't be afraid to comment down below. I like um, hearing what you guys have to say. And I always try to respond. So, <gasps> bless you. <laughs> You want to say bye? We will see you in my next video. Say bye. Yeah, bye, guys.